God, even your countdown was super slow. Why does everyone sound like super exhausted? God damn. Because it's 2 a.m. I'm tired as fuck. Tight as fuck. Tired. Tired as fuck. Why? <laughs> I'm sleepy. Why? All right. Well, it's I'm tight as fuck. We're all sleepy. <laughs> Let's turn it around, boys. This is episode 155 of the official podcast, and we're coming out here with some furious energy, starting with Jackson, who's just on the edge of his seat waiting to talk about something important today. Don't be a fucker. I just said I was exhausted and tired and you put me on the spot yet again. But yes, luckily I came prepared. Star Wars Fallen Order is the best game of the year. Mm. Jackson's <laughs> wow, gone delirious opinion. with tiredness. <laughs> Controversial take from Jackson here. You know, Unexpected. You know let me, let's get a fair and unbiased opinion. Charlie, is it the best game of the year? No, but it, it is good. It definitely is good. You don't know it's not the best game of the year. Give me one game better. And don't say Sekiro. <laughs> Oh, I think Sekiro's better. <laughs> well, did that come out this year? I thought that was last year. No, it was this year. It was only like five months ago. Oh. Yeah, that shit slapped hard. This game's not bad at all, though. Oh, I like right. it a lot. But it's great. But they call it Game of the Year because Jackson's exploring every little nook and cranny and every little tidbit of lore he can find over every little space plant. <laughs> it's a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, like, that's not what they wanted you to do. What's what's so wrong with exploring the game you paid money for just because I don't want to stream it through in eight hours and finish it like you? Whoa, I've already, you I've already put 10 hours into that game. I've been exploring. <laughs> <All streamed. laughs> you have not. You have been using it to your full potential. It disgusts me. <laughs> the Star Wars game is simply a tool for fans to get more lore. Yeah, Vessel. you need to stop and listen to every single audio log about Darth Insanius. And BB fifteen or whatever oh, that little image is. Are you I able wish to? That was that. Are you able to do that shit, Jackson? Like, if this Star Wars game had like audio logs and tons of text logs, are you able to read and listen to every single one? Because even games I care about, I just get so bored doing that. Y yeah, I don't do that for most games, but Star Wars, yes, I would do that for Star Wars. <laughs> so you do it multiple for this times. Game? Even. What is what is the most yeah. boring thing a Star Wars game well, can if, do if, that you if would the like? The writing is good. If the right, well, hmm. <laughs> um, would you play a star wars text-based adventure well no there's there's been plenty of star wars games that i've hated connect star wars for example <laughs> jesus <laughs> whoa what Great. a what a high bar I, that is a hot I take couldn't read the audio logs in that one um, you, are you telling me you didn't like dancing with han solo to the song i'm han solo i thought the music was fine i just i just didn't like the dance moves <laughs> that's a shame you know, like that that game in general was awful, but also like the Force Unleashed 2 was pretty bad, like really bad. There's there's a lot of bad Star Wars games. Surprisingly, this this may shock you to know, <laughs> but, yeah. but video games in the Star Wars universe haven't always been as good as Jedi Fallen Order. <laughs> hey man, I used to love Star Wars games. It's just... Like what? Uh, Rogue Squadron, I actually loved growing up. Do you remember mm -hmm. that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that game was fucking amazing. I I always wanted to replay it. That's the game where uh, when you uh, you can unlock a bunch of ships. It's mostly a spaceship combat game, and uh, yeah. if you somehow unlock the Millennium Falcon, I think it was for beating the game or on doing something secret. The narrator would be like, "I have no idea how you found this," and he was like, "What? Like what the fuck is this thing?" It's a great game. None of that's lore anymore, Andrew. Disney ruined it. Oh, of course they did. Of course they did. <laughs> Because that's they what said nothing before the movie, nothing before the movies, nothing apart from the movies and the Clone Wars TV series is kind of <laughs> anymore. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, but now, but they've started reintroducing stuff like Fallen Order. Jesus. So, so is Fallen Order um, in the fucking Star Wars canon? Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't have read as much as I did, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it's why you're tired? Get the canon seal of approval. <laughs> no, I haven't played the game since yesterday, but I am tired. What about you two, Kaya? What, 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 is there any kind of like game universe or, or world that you would you read too? into? I guess like invest into. Oh, there's a lot of them. Are you asking me? You're uh, speaking for else? Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant for me, Kaya. Oh, what were you yeah. saying? Uh, I used to. I think the last game where I genuinely stopped to read every single audio log and all that was 
like bio, like the Bioshock era and mm -hmm. Deus Ex, like the first yeah. one, and that was about it. That's where after that it just tapered off, and now my I, I have so little patience for that sort of shit. I get infuriated when I have so much to ask, hit a button to open a door. I just want to keep running and shooting. <laughs> The last one I did that for was the Mad Max game, just because I thought everything in that game was so fucking cool, and then they gave it an even cooler story. Like, you'd, you'd fight a fight a boss, and he'd have, I don't know, like, buzz saws in his chest. I'd be like, oh, that's really cool, and then you read his bio after you kill him, and it's like, he stole those buzz saws from Home Depot when the world went to shit, and he, <laughs> he killed a hundred men with them, and I'm like, whoa, that's really cool. So it just got, it made me want <laughs> to read that it. That is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. That was that was the last game I did that on, just because everybody was so the cool. Same, that's along the same kind of like corniness and coolness of Star Wars, though. So you can't give me shit for. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not giving you shit at all. I understand entirely why you're getting super deep into that lore. What, what about you, Charlie? I don't think you would have have ever kind of invested that kind of time into a video game. Not true. Universe. Um, I guess not a video game universe, but one game in particular, Lost Odyssey. They used to have short stories hidden throughout their game as little pieces of collectible shit. And it'd be like, you know, 30 minute stories that they'd tell or you can read. And I got every single one of those because I was so invested in that little universe they made in that game. That's like wow, the only one I can a, think of. That's a uh, that's a pretty not obscure, but that's a lesser played game. Yeah, I'm it's surprised. a really good game, though. Like the short stories were super cool. Huh. I you guess it all that depends on how well they do. Mm -mm. Did you get all the uh, all the eavesdropping in Sekiro and like read all the item descriptions and shit? Nope. Wow. Because that he one you uh, you actually unlock stuff if you get all the eavesdrops and shit. Yeah, I just wasn't overly invested in doing that. Do you feel forced to play a certain way when you're streaming? I I feel I I wouldn't have enjoyed or I wouldn't be enjoying Jedi Fallen Order as much as I am if I was streaming. I feel because I'd have to interact with chat and I'd be that they'd be solving puzzles in the background. I don't know. I feel like there'd be a lot of uh, yeah. pressure. Well, not pressure, but it it would make me play a certain way. Yeah, but everything no, is really fun when when there is an audience. I feel like most things, at least, like I would be very uncomfortable if somebody was watching me brush my teeth, even though it's a, just such a simple thing to do. I. <laughs> I get freaked out. Don't watch me fail at this. I'm gonna get insulted if I don't shoot this guy right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the worst case Games. scenario would be being unable to solve a puzzle for like 30 minutes while everybody in the chat is yelling at you. <laughs> that would be so embarrassing, like being caught in a school presentation with your pants off or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but but then you like in those puzzle situations, you also have to read chat, and you, the answer is just going to get thrown at you. So it kind of circumvents the satisfaction of solving the puzzle. For you yourself. underestimate exactly, how fucking yeah. bad a lot of the backseat gamers are. Like half oh, the people yeah. haven't played the game, and they're giving you a solution that can't possibly work because it's not a mechanic in the game. Oh, turn over that rock! Why aren't you using the force pull my, on the giant my, barrier? My <laughs> fucking favorite thing is when you're streaming the game. And you're playing it, and say you're trying to change the options to set on subtitles, and you go, well, I checked the audio menu, and it's not in there. Maybe it's somewhere else. And then two seconds later, half of chat is, did you check the audio menu? It might be there. <laughs> like, you, you this fucking idiot hasn't checked something. the audio menu. <laughs> Caps Just lock. Every it's time. Really, for every that sounds game. extremely tiring. Oh, Jackson, streaming is mostly answering the same questions over and over and over again. You will, you'll start a game, and it, in the first 10 minutes, people will go, how do you like the game so far? And you're like, <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. You know, I'm a few hours in. And then as people come into the stream, their question will be, how do you like the game so far? How do you like the game so far? And you just you just answer it. It's just part of streaming. What? Why? <laughs> why? Like, so if you had a game that you were looking forward to for like, I don't know, five years, you were really excited for it. It was in your favorite universe or whatever. Like you were basically just really looking forward to it. Would you stream that game knowing that the the experience of playing it for the first time is going to be dampened by by Twitch chat? No. <laughs> I, I think it's same reason I don't, the game. Same reason I don't go to the movie theaters with my phone out with everybody texting me, answering their questions as I'm reviewing it. I just I want everybody to shut the fuck up, leave me alone to enjoy it. That's how I consume yeah, my media. Yeah, you also yeah. you're not a streamer as well, so. Oh, okay. I, That's I how guess it is. You're more. 
I, I guess you're <laughs> well I, what i meant was i could kind of figure out your response because you're like in the same vein as me uh, you don't really like streaming uh-huh. but what about you and you and charlie andrew I prefer so, streaming games. I'd get super fucking bored playing it on my own. Like Death yeah, Stranding, wait, what the I could have never finished. Okay, Jackson, by that logic, I can figure out their responses. Then why are you even asking? They like Good streaming. Point. Shocker. Okay. That's not what well, I was going to answer, though. <laughs> Andrew hates it. <laughs> nah, for, for me, it totally depends on the game. Because uh, one thing I know that will happen when I stream is the game's going to take me like three times longer to finish. Because if I'm playing it on my own, I'm I'm just sitting in silence playing the game, going, "Yep, okay, read that, go, 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 play." You know, I'm not no reason to make jokes or point things out or discuss game design, but on the stream, sometimes you see something and you want to talk about it, or you want to make a joke about it, or there's something specifically you want to do for the stream. So usually, when I stream a game, I think it has to be entertaining to watch. So some games that are like super old or I don't feel like really getting into, I'll play on my own. Other games I stream. But uh, I don't know. For example, when Sekiro first came out, I streamed it, but I got mm-hmm. the I got an ending, and then there's, I think, four of them. When I went to get the other ones, I did it on my own because I went, you know, I just want to speed through the game. I don't want to have to make it entertaining or fun. I just want to get these other endings. So I didn't stream it the second time around. But yeah, I mean that's fair but like my question was more so do you feel like streaming the game on your first like playthrough or your first interaction with the game dampens the experience of the game like do you think well charlie said it makes it funner for him i'm I'm wondering why that is specifically um, i i think it's a psychological maybe... study here <laughs> like a psychiatrist <laughs> yeah how do you feel when you stream how does that make you Look feel? Look at these paintings show me what Star Wars it's, character you see. <laughs> it's, such <an> insane, <laughs> it's such an insane feeling to me. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand how streaming it could make it any better. Well, do you have more fun playing something with a friend, Jackson? I imagine the answer if it's is yes. A, if it's a friend-based game, yeah. Okay, I mean, every game can be a friend-based it. game. Would you I, have more fun if you had thousands of, of fans honestly. paying you $5, Jackson, while you're playing with them? Yeah, that's what yeah. I think it is. <laughs> you I also, think it's the you also have to remember when you ask this question, enjoyable. Jackson, that no matter what Charlie streams, he gets literally thousands of people watching, and uh, most of them want to give him money. So there's a <laughs> there's a bit of a different takeaway, you know. I mean, Charlie, no, where's your integrity? <laughs> the takeaway is I don't like playing games alone anymore. I think it's really boring. I don't really get invested in any of the games anymore. But if I play it with the chat, they're constantly making jokes and keeping me entertained for a game that I might not like as much alone. Like that's so stranding. Star Wars Fallen Order is better to you with chat integration. I would think any game is for me personally. I don't. Pl- I haven't played a game off stream in so long, except like Borderlands Three. And the only reason I did that is because I thought the game was fucking miserable. So I just wanted to blast through it as quickly as possible and not spend as much time on it. But see, if it's I, a game I just, that I like, it's a lot more fun with people around. See, I just see it as something different. When I'm going to stream, I see it as like I have to be entertaining and I have to be like energetic and lively and up and doing mm-hmm. things. And sometimes that I don't feel miserable. like... I, I think No, it's fun. It's like, okay, like think of streaming as putting on a play. Or doing a show, or or recording a TV show, or a Broadway. YouTube skit, or something. It's yeah, it's like I'm on Broadway, uh, but it's 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 fun. You're performing for people. You're telling jokes. You're making observations. You're that's I mean that's the way I see it. Not everyone sees it, but I I like being the guy where it's like I'm, you know, I'm performing. I'm making a skit out of it. It's a fun thing. Hey, come watch this. But sometimes I don't want to do that. Sometimes I don't want to be on or always have to be funny or witty. So if I don't think I'm going to be that way, I'm not going to stream it. I don't want the str- I don't want to stream just to stream. I want to stream because it's entertaining to watch. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So sometimes if I don't uh, like, for example, Call of Duty lately, the last three times I've played it, I haven't streamed it because I just want to hang out and play it with some of my friends. I don't want to have to like make jokes or pay attention to a chat or, you know, any of that. I'd rather just play the game and fuck around. So I, it just always depends for me how I feel yeah. on it. Well, that makes sense. But Charlie streams literally everything, every single day. 
How do you not get exhausted by that? Because playing it alone is fucking boring, man. I, I don't want to play Jedi Fallen Order in silence with the lights off and my cock in my hand like you do. But that's the way it was <laughs> meant to be played. Well, not for that's me. That's how boring. God intended it to so be that's, played. So that's a good question, though, Charlie. Do you not get that, like, cinematic game feel anymore where it's like you have all the lights off and you kind of treat it like a movie where you're just going through it and... Yeah, you're getting get really invested. invested. I don't think you let yourself get invested. I you're just, always looking away from the screen. Well, no, I just I don't find a lot of the games. To, I don't get invested in games like I did when I was younger. I find it more fun to have fun with the game as opposed to get the Omnicron out and take every little audio log and jot it down. It's a lot more fun to make jokes about a good property. Like Death Stranding, I liked everything about the story and everything, so I paid attention to it. But it was a lot more fun to point out what was wrong with it and make jokes about it with other people. As opposed to sit with the lights off and watch it. Yeah. Well, I guess that's a fair response. I guess it's down to preference. I, yeah, I think Charlie just more enjoys the social aspect of streaming rather than actually playing the game. Yeah. At least maybe. by this point. I mean, I Charlie, we'll are you know. are you just <laughs> bored <laughs> of games? And what are we, what, what <laughs> he's is right so here. Confusing. We can ask him. <laughs> so, like Charlie, mystery. are you <laughs> explaining why I prefer streaming a game as opposed to sitting alone? <laughs> are you bored of games in general? <laughs> Bored of games, no, but playing them alone, I certainly would be. But you are alone. Yeah, it's so that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you didn't stream, <laughs> you didn't stream would, you, uh, would you play video games? That's my question. If I didn't stream, I probably wouldn't play half the video games that come out every year. If I didn't stream, I probably wouldn't be playing any games, actually. <gasps> wow. You're not even a gamer anymore? No, not You're really, You're more man. just a... A Twitcher. When a did it start? I just don't like. Streamer. I just don't like doing things alone anymore. It's just a lot more boring. Yeah, I, th I think Charlie's just bored of video games by this point, and just likes the idea of using them as a platform to stream. Oh, I, I'm I'm definitely bored of most video games, like the video game, well, not industry, but like most of the video games that come out. I'm definitely bored oh. of and not interested in playing. But at the same time, I I I just personally think. Forcing myself to play them just for an audience would be even more exclusive. I'm not See, forcing I, I myself think... to play them, though. I like playing them when I stream them. That's when I'm having fun with the game. You just said you don't like video games anymore. Why don't you just do IRL streams then instead he of does. forcing yourself to play a video Wait, game? what are you talking about? I didn't say... <laughs> I'm saying I wouldn't he play does them IRL streams, boarding. Jackson. He does like three a week. What? He does IRL you streams. You go out and eat sushi? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, he watches YouTube. Yeah. Right. That's not IRL. Uh, so oh, that, that's... That doesn't that fucking count. You have yeah. to strap a boombox to your back and like with the end <laughs> and blaring. harass people in public. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's what IRL streaming meant. What else does it mean, Charlie? What else does Andrew, it mean? Wait, 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 Andrew. What else can you strap to yourself to make yourself look extremely fashionable and attractive? Holy to shit! The outside world. That was the best segue I've heard in a while. In fact, holy shit! It's almost the holidays again, and if you want to strap something to your body during this holiday season, or maybe help someone else strap something to their body, you can strap a movement watch to them. Because they've got you covered this season with hundreds of watches, blue light glasses, sunnies, and jewelry styles to choose from. Stuff your stockings, impress your family while your partners, and strap things to them. Because that's what movement watches is going to help you to do. Movement watches start at just $95. They have a clean design, a minimalism style, and are really high quality products. Movement has sold almost 2 million watches in over 160 countries, and you can help them be on the map even greater. If you're listening to this podcast from a country that barely just got internet, maybe it's not even like marked, no delegates, please buy a Movement watch, help them spread their reign over the globe. Be the big winner this holiday season with a gift from Movement. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash official. That's mvmt.com slash official. Join the movement. All four of us have a movement watch. I actually have two. Multiple. And I got to yeah, say, they are, they are snazzy. Great watches. Great watches. Anyway, back to the discussion. Back to anything. Does anyone <laughs> else have any topics? <laughs> No, I want. I want. I wanted this to continue. I, I just. I'm always yeah, fascinated when you fervently defend Star Wars and your love for it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that was, that's what you got out of that. Yeah. Well, Jackson, to give you some, to give you an idea, though, 
on all of cute. it a little better. There's also, I think there's also games that like are fun because you stream them and games that are fun on their own. For uh, yeah, I no, I can yeah. totally get, I totally get games that are fun with an audience or fun with people to play with. I'm just saying like, if I were, if I were to play like a single player game that I wanted to get invested in, the audience would be a detractment for the, from the enjoyment for me. But I guess if like you or Charlie just don't have any interest in getting invested in video games, single player video games, then I guess that makes sense. I, I do though. No, Andrew, you're all, <laughs> any streamers are the same. <laughs> I play tons Fucking of games streamers. offline. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess maybe for you two, the idea of constantly having people watching you isn't your thing. Whereas me and Charlie like it depending on what we're doing. Why is yeah. this all speculation? Jesus, I have said why I like doing it. Why are we still <laughs> hypothesizing on why I like streaming? I just don't get invested in the games when I play them alone. I get bored. I get, you know, I tap out. I wouldn't have finished half the games I have if I played them alone. It's more fun when so people when, are making when it more fun. When did that change? Probably like two or three years ago. Even leading up what to What game killed it for you? Two or three yeah, years What game ago? was so bad you never wanted to play games again? <laughs> To be honest, it's probably See, when Kai and I, I were buy. really into League. No, oh, but we got I, League killed we gaming were, for you? <laughs> Jackson and I were in America roughly exactly one year ago, not two or three. And so are you telling me that when I woke up at three in the morning, went down to grab a glass of water, and I found you playing Overwatch, you were streaming? <laughs> whoa, 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 let's not go yourself. slandering people. I, yeah, I have not played Overwatch accusation. alone in a long, long time. I played Rocket yeah, are you League. Sure he wasn't just jerking off to Overwatch porn or something. Yeah, it was very it it uh, embarrassing. A lot of those models look real, Kaya. It was the other one. It um, was Rocket League. No, no, the <laughs> Epic game. The uh, fuck me. It's on Fortnite. 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 No, it's like we're Tenos, Tenos, and the katanas, and they all look the same. Like oh, Warframe. Frame. Warframe. Not, uh, yeah, that's not Warframe. Yeah. I'd that's always find epic, you up no. and awake at every time of the day, like you're some sort of a Cheshire cat that never had to sleep, playing some gaudy peacock character, <laughs> flying in a golden spaceship. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, that one was did an addiction, yeah. though. That was definitely something. Did you for, did yeah. you stream all of Destiny Two as well? No, God, not all of it. There's Christ. another one. That was a, but that that was grinding. That was a chore. So None it seems it seems that. like, and I'm not kidding. Every game that you play when not streaming are games that you don't even want to play, like RuneScape, <laughs> Destiny Two, Warframe. It's yeah, all games that chores. you're just addicted to, and they're chores. No, it's the work you put in for the reward eventually. <laughs> That's what and addiction is. And then you didn't is. even get that reward. Yeah. <laughs> you, you play a game with the promise of a reward, not even the fact that you have one. <laughs> and it never comes. So do you, do you never still... comes. I got all the rewards I was going for there. You didn't. You no, went the we first get in well Destiny first. 2. Yeah, no. that was the whole point. True. So what, mm. do you have an addiction game now? Do you have one that you're just grinding in your back pocket? Nope. No. Oh. Do you feel empty? No, I feel so much better. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of oh. you. Thanks, Glad man. you beat yeah, addiction. Man. Yep. Two years sober on it. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> two years? <laughs> what? <laughs> like I said. Right, right, two <laughs> years. Destiny 2 was like two months ago. It wasn't hey, even yeah, a year ago I, where I saw you in your kitchen and in your own room the pants around your ankles is bumbling and fumbling telling me about warframe <laughs> you're a mean drunk a you're a mean ago. gamer <laughs> telling me to get out of your house yelling slurs at me i never liked you anyway kaya all because i pulled the plug on your computer <laughs> Uh, Wait, did you actually shut his computer down while he was playing? No, I'm not an asshole. What, what the fuck? Am I his yeah, mom? Why fuck? would I do that? Besides, I, I, I assume that he has an emergency generator attached to everything anyway. I, I highly doubt that would make a difference. <laughs> Probably has a panic room with a PlayStation in it. Yes, I can keep playing. In the case of a home invasion. <laughs> I feel like that's something I would do. Just in my panic room, oh, I'd, I'd make it all cozy. Just two feet thick steel walls, and I'm just inside with a scotch, a console, and my cats. 
and then I, I don't know I, I'd have like little Just vents going chilling and relaxing while <laughs> while thieves are rampaging through your house yeah no no, no but Just I would a have nice leather chair no but I would have little vents all around the house uh, just feeding nerve gas into the house as long as they're still in there. You'd ruin your house, though. No, you, you'll you air it out. <laughs> Potentially the neighborhood. Yeah, really? <laughs> How much nerve gas are you pumping in? Is it constantly running while you're in the panic room? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, as long Where as... Where does nerve gas come from as well? You'd have to have nerve gas canisters. <laughs> hey, I don't <laughs> have to you answer that question. Nerve gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, when did this become an interrogation? I'm just saying what I would like to do in that scenario. I don't have to answer anything here. It's just an idea. I think it's That's something I think fair. about quite a bit is like what kind of uh, plan I would have in, in place if someone were to break into my house while I'm asleep. And there's absolutely nothing. I, I cannot come <laughs> up with a plan because no matter what happens, they're just like, I, I well, obviously you're asleep, so they're just going to be able to roam around your house all they want and eventually come up to your bedroom and, and stab you while you sleep or something and I'll never know. Yeah, that's why you I need an alarm system. I am always thinking on that front. I'm always thinking on that front, looking around my room, going, okay, if someone broke into my apartment right now, what could I use as a weapon? What would I try to hit them with? What's What's got enough force? And it's always stuff I never want to break either, so I'm always hesitant. No, not the guitar. Why do you choose things that <laughs> not, you don't want to break? Because, like, the guitar... So if I'm looking around my room right now, the guitar is probably the best thing to hit people with because it's got a lot of weight, it's long... It's a good defense weapon, but I also don't want my guitar to break. It was, it's nice. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll just pay him money and he'll leave. I don't know. Yeah, that's what they'd want. Once you start giving them money, it'll be like feeding a pigeon. <laughs> That'll just come back tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> Every night. I think it's... It, it, it just... Uh, what if he takes your guitar, though? Oh, God. <laughs> now he's got a weapon. It's <laughs> unbelievable to me that it's, in most places it's illegal to booby trap your own property. It's insane to me. I didn't know that. Is Ridiculous. It? I didn't Why know is that. it illegal? Well, Are you sure it's illegal? Yeah, for in most places. I don't know what the law is in each US state or whatever, but it, in most countries it's illegal because you have emergency services and shit like that. You know, what if the police does need to kick down your door to arrest you or something <laughs> and they don't want to step into a bear trap and... I don't know. Yeah, just... I'm, I'm getting the mental image of you having a heart attack on your second floor calling 911 <laughs> <laughs> and the emergency <laughs> services storm in and have to navigate this entire maze of, of traps <laughs> set by Kyle. Like it's a, a sword gun shot. shotgun. It, it, <laughs> takes them, it takes them two hours and they lose six police officers trying to get to Kyle. <laughs> Where He's were you guys? I'm dying. Day. Well, we, we lost like half an hour in the snake pit. <laughs> <laughs> man really really impressive to see a man with tesla coils in this day and age can you turn them off <laughs> you know i i, I really Old loved bob and i, I even guess. told him like bob it looks like the walls they're closing in on us they're they're, they're moving <laughs> you didn't listen <laughs> I, I i knew something wrong i knew something was wrong when my partner said you know this room smells like cyanide gas <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't put my finger on it. It's like two EMTs, one of them has a defibrillator, and I'm putting them through the saw game, like, only one of you can save my life. <laughs> but first, you have to save your own. <laughs> <laughs> the most ironic fucking thing in the world. You have to fight to the death to save my life. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, yeah, geez. you could like blackmail them from on the brink of death, like, only I have the code to turn off the traps. You must save my life if you want to ever get out of my house again. Or die here with me. <laughs> what an asshole. I feel like that's the kind of shit I would do if I was a billionaire. Oh, Make it hard to save you. Invite everyone to your big ass billionaire mansion and each room has a different theme trap and they have to find you and get the code if they want to leave. Oh, well, Kai is still having a heart attack. I'm no, no, Kai is in his, is in his multi-million dollar panic room playing his PlayStation 4 the whole time. <laughs> All right, he's, he's already he's already solved the heart attack. He had a defib 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 He's perfectly on. fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sitting there all cozied up, kick my legs up. Bucket of popcorn, like, oh man, I, I wonder if Bob's gonna make it. <laughs> By the time they get to the room, Kyle will have forgotten about the game entirely. <laughs> Dude, you just know. <laughs> it was a 
Mm-hmm. It was a pocket dial or something. He accidentally called 911. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I thought that was next week. I'm sorry, guys. Thanks for coming. Uh, what's that <laughs> thing they could, attach you know, to? This sounds like a Rick and Morty episode. I don't like that. Oh, geez. Sounds like what? A Rick and Morty episode. Something that Rick would do. How the fuck he does that a- sound like a Rick and Morty episode? Having like an extravagant, he did that with the uh, the the yeah, he already superhero squad, yeah, but it wasn't like a booby trapped house where they're trying to break it. Sounds like he could do it, (laughs) fucking nerd, yeah. But I'm not like (laughs) wubba lubba dub dub, God isn't reeling them or anything like that. I just I feel insulted now. He could, plus, he doesn't have like a jumbotron saying, You're gonna have to come get me, like he's just turning on booby traps, home alone style, but for adults. Kaya's first yeah, booby trap. Yeah, goofy enough to be Rick and Morty. Kaya's first booby trap is they have to accept that God doesn't exist, or they die. Ugh. <laughs> God, <laughs> God, yeah, yeah. Oh, See, it was one step away from being Rick and Morty. <laughs> Instantly, the, the whole idea became Bibles. so lame. <laughs> uh, how old is the Earth? Uh, is evolution a theory? <laughs> uh, on the left, you see a fireplace. On the right, two Bibles. You must sacrifice your religion. Who is your no, favorite it's a Bible and a author. Quran? Choose from this list. Yeah. <laughs> well, That'd guys, nice if you want to buy, what would you do though if you wanted to buy the materials to make such a maze? I'd use honey. You would? Oh fuck yeah, I'd use honey. I would also use honey. That's because honey. I think we would all use honey. We would all use honey. Because Honey is a free browser extension that automatically finds the best promo codes wherever you shop online. It's going to find you the best deals on websites like eBay, J.Crew, uh, Target, Best Buy. Oh, and a little one called Amazon. You know, Ooh. that's a that's quite a big one right there. Boys, the last time I shopped on Honey, I bought some tea and I saved a couple bucks on it. Some yummy, yummy iced tea. I wish I had done that while I was buying licorice tea. Ugh. I'm still, I feel so bad about, yeah, licorice, yeah. It's disgusting, turns out, it's really gross, I wish I had saved my money, I wish I could get my goddamn money back, but oh well. You know, honey's, (laughs) honey's one of those extensions where every once in a while I get messages from my actual friends saying, Kaya, this actually works, yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. It's always out of the blue, like in the middle of the day, I just get a message saying, dude, this, I just saved 50 bucks on my Amazon purchase. What the fuck? Uh, you can get that at joinhoney.com. Yeah, it does even more official. than that, though. It, do, it, does even, it does even more than that. Like, I've, I've noticed their Honey Gold feature is really fucking good. Like, every purchase you make, not even with Honey, it sometimes it just works on checkouts that Honey doesn't even touch. Like if they don't have a coupon code or something, you get Honey Gold back. And then once you get like 1,500 gold, which happens really quick if you're making constant online purchases, once you have 1,500 gold, you can cash that in for like a $25 Amazon gift card. I've, I've thrown like money. two of those so far. Ooh. It's so it's good. It's fucking free money. I, I'll be browsing the internet and Honey is just sitting on the corner of my browser and I'll be on a shop. I'll be looking at the most obscure fucking website shit. I'm like, oh, I, I see that they sell Thailand-based skin rugs. Oh, I've always wanted one. And Honey will be like, oh, by the way, I got coupon codes for that. Like, seriously, <laughs> everything. So many vendors, that little dancing coin will come up in the corner and go, hey, I got coupon codes for that. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? Put them in there. Let's go. If you're buying gifts this holiday season, then you need honey. If you're not, then you probably know someone who is. So tell them about honey. Honey is fucking free. I I don't know how many times I have to say this. There is literally no reason not to use honey. They can make sure that you're getting the best price for what you're buying. You can get it for free. At joinhoney.com slash official. That's joinhoney.com slash official. I love honey. I'm looking at it right now. We all do. Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Coach, eBay. All it's just got, it gives even if you don't know where to buy stuff, if you click it, it gives you a list of places that are compatible. It's crazy. <laughs> it's the best. I love honey so much. Me too, dude. Uh, anyway, back to Star Wars. <laughs> 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 Jackson, do you still piss away money? Do you still hemorrhage your wallet buying useless stuff? What? What do you mean, what? Oh, this, this was your character for like the first hundred episodes of the show. Was you just waking up in the I, middle of the I night in a cold sweat? The other day. 
getting VR headsets. Yeah. What were you thinking about the other day? That very thing. Uh, I was wondering if you still do that because I remember it was a constant theme for a while where you'd come on the show and be like, boys, I just wasted 500 bucks. I bought a Oculus <laughs> Rift from China. It's a special edition. Oh, yeah. There's only like three situations I can think of where that oh, came. Oh, there were way more than three, happened. Jackson. And no, it happened initially because I paid for everything to set the podcast up and you guys oh, yeah. called me the money bag <laughs> for the operation. <laughs> which was a completely friendly thing of me to do that you could just immediately <laughs> yeah, shit on. No, no, no we didn't and, shit and on you. Three just all three of us myself. were pointing out, Jackson, we could, this could have been done for like five bucks. <laughs> all included and you spent like 200 on it per week or something on no. a high-speed premium RSS feed quality. or something. <laughs> it needed to be quality. And a website that immediately got stolen. <laughs> well, it wasn't immediate. It was after a year of doing nothing with it. It was immediately. It no, was I mean, not immediately. It, it, like, that immediately is... got... St- it oh, got, fuck off. Shut up. It got immediately stolen as soon as it, like, lapsed. That's not how like, it works, Jackson. I still, I still get reminders periodically for domains that... For my domains that expired, like, five years ago. I still get spammed with reminders. It, it's not that easy to yeah, steal I a didn't. domain. You must have really slept on it. I, I didn't get reminded. It, it, sound, it sounds more like you're the one who stole the domain. If, if it's... with. If it were just that easy Why for them the to fuck take it I back, kill the domain. <laughs> I don't know. Why would so I still anyway, the you're, I already had? you're deflecting. Like, do you still buy frivolous stuff every day? Well, is it really frivolous if you enjoy it, guy? Yeah, but Whatever you enjoy it for like that you spent a thousand dollars. Yeah, you enjoy on. it for like a week at the most, and then you go, oh, I'm bored no, of it. Bye. That was not a week. That was not a week. You and hated the aquarium, well, actually, because you go, I got to turn off my fucking aquarium fan so I can record. Yeah, you were. Well, that was annoying. I didn't hate the aquarium for that. I hated the podcast. I, I bet it was annoying for the fish getting choked once a week for two hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All because you guys have to record a podcast. Yes, we do have to record a podcast because that's what lets you buy the fucking aquarium in the first place, Jackson. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. I don't. I don't particularly enjoy waking up early, but I'll do it for the podcast. It's a little important. You've done it for the last like three months, maybe. I still don't like two, it. It's two a.m. for me. You. Prick. I still don't it's like it. I still. I still don't like waking up early for it. But I'll. What's do the it. time for you right now, Andrew? Eleven thirty a.m. Oh, oh <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> hey man, I'm when so you're, sorry, man. When you're a hardcore gamer like Charlie and me, <laughs> streaming till about four in the morning, you need your beauty sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to answer your question though no i, I can't think of any extra because uh, i've been i've been paying for this game to be made so that's kind of where most of the money's going that i would be spending on dumb shit if oh. i if i was still doing that are you taking mm-hmm. three vacations over the next two months to korea tokyo and somewhere else no, just Japan. I don't know why. What? <laughs> when have I ever said three? I just said Japan, and that's not until March. I thought but for you're sure you said going. at least two places. No, no that was like I go... spitballing a hike through like Uzbekistan or something. No, he definitely he had more than one place he wanted to do. Oh, I've always only said Japan. Hmm. Are you I'm actually sure. going though in March? I would love to. Uh, that's currently the plan. I haven't. Uh, I haven't like bought tickets yet or anything but i probably well, will be soon if you want to go at the same time we can definitely meet up and go to some panty i was i was gonna say jackson i i now officially have my passport so i am i am free reign to travel the globe fuck yeah yeah i'll think official, about official official trip to japan fuck yeah, that'd <laughs> Bye, be yeah join us why the fuck do i keep hearing the discord join and leave notification just endlessly are you guys hearing that or is it just me what were we talking about before Charlie rudely interrupted us with these technical difficulties. The, uh, the official podcast Japan trip. Oh, yeah. Well, three quarters of an official trip because... Charlie won't go. You know. Yeah. 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 I, I just... So I'm, Kai, you're more than welcome. Yeah, Kai, would you go? Um, Maybe. I'm not against it. Hmm. I just hate the flying part. So for Christmas again, yeah. I'm yeah, going to be spending a, I think it it's a 22-hour flight. Ugh. Yeah. From America, Fuck. though. Fuck that. Yeah. God, just even hearing that makes me... I feel claustrophobic just thinking about it. I'm already okay, hang on. reading I'm articles sorry, I about... Misspoke. Mm, it's a 16-hour flight. 16, 17, depending on what part of Japan you fly to yeah, from America. Yeah, that makes America. sense. I, I recently read the news that 
Qantas Airlines, I think, is now experimenting yeah. with the world's longest flight from Sydney to London, which takes 19 something hours, I think. Uh, they Yeah, 20. I think it's 20. Yeah, something like that. They, so they put like 50 poor souls on that plane monitoring them and their habits <laughs> just to see how they uh, feel during a 20 hour flight. God, that is just awful. That, uh, that kind of shit always reminds me of just how much better things are now. Can you imagine if you were back in the days where the only way to travel long distances was by boat? And it's like, hey, yeah. we're going to we're going to sail to England by. Oh, six months later, we're finally fucking there. Hooray. <laughs> dying. I, of I can't imagine that shit. Yeah, yeah. Dying of diseases and shitting off uh, like, oh, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know how the fuck people in any way were happy back then. Because everything People seemed are never miserable. going to be happy. I'm happy. Not until teleportation well, some is Some of invented. us can lie about it. Jackson, happiness. not everyone can try to fill the void in their life with Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> no, I think I Jackson means happy about in more authentic travel. Don't you mean like travel forms? Well, you, I just mean with anything, really. Oh. Like, no matter what happens, humans are just going to get complacent about whatever technological improvement they've got and then they'll always be yearning for the next thing so they'll always be sad oh yeah if you try to fill your life with technology and gadgets you're going to be completely miserable the the secret to happiness is filling your life with just things that invest you doesn't well, have not to really be what I was, <laughs> not really what i was saying but i appreciate it <laughs> well what are you what were you I saying just, then i just mean like yeah like 60 years ago being able to fly eight hours away and like reaching across the globe or whatever would have been incredible. And people back then would have appreciated that a whole lot. But now that it's become so mainstay and everyone can do it fairly easy, if not expensively, it's like, it's miserable. Still. Oh, I mean, yeah, but that's not exactly what I'm saying. What I was saying is that imagine back then you had to go, okay, I now currently need to go across America because I'm going to visit my family in California Today, mm -hmm. that takes, if you drove, what, like two days? Back then, mm -hmm. it took a year or however long. It's it, And like, what do you do on that drive? You just sit and there's nothing. You're in a fucking horse and buggy and you're going slow as shit. You just watch and talk. Maybe sing songs with the people you go with. God forbid you <laughs> go or, or you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Talking. But my, my whole point is, like, think how long things took back then. Just simple things today that we do now. And what the fuck would you do with your life back then? My well, what else is there? What else is there? There's travel? Well, if, if, you, meant, if uh... you lived, if you camped up, there was a lot of things you could do. You could, like, practice music. You could practice a skill, like woodworking or blacksmithing or something. You could do a profession. You, um, you could write a lot of stuff, but I mean, yeah, there's certain things you can do on the journey, like you could still write or practice music or whatever, but you can't do anything that's established. Like, it's kind of hard to practice, like, your business or run a shop or something if you're traveling. I don't know. It. it I don't know. I guess I take technology for granted. If you're driving on a journey, you can listen to music, or if you're a passenger, you can play a game or something, but you didn't have that shit back then. The only music yeah, like I always say there was no Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order yeah, back then. Yeah, the only music you got to listen to on your journey to California back then was whatever songs you remembered how to sing. That's it. That sucks. What a miserable time period. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I just I just always picture and I always think I I was talking about this with my stream chat a while ago where it was if you could go to the past, what decade would you visit or what would you want to see and it's like I wouldn't want to go to any of them. Because the past fucking sucked. No, fuck you. I'd go all the way back, straight to the dinosaurs. It would fucking suck, Wait. Jackson. No, you would whoa. die so quickly. You wouldn't know how to make food for yourself or what's edible. You'd be eating like dinosaur exactly. ass. Hmm. That's why I he wants to I think I go. would be able to survive. What would no, you eat? You what wouldn't. would be the first thing you look for if you went back to the dinosaur period? Yeah. Giant witchy grubs or any kind of grubs. You don't those even know if those were Massive there. proteins. Probably didn't even exist back then. Well... Yeah, there were there, there were giant insects, but they would probably probably put up a bit more of a fight than would be grub in the ground. <laughs> Jackson would immediately get bitten or poisoned by something and die from his injuries. No, 
There were there were small dinosaurs that I could hunt. I, I could. There were small dinosaurs that survived. I could forage for. You for wouldn't berries. even be able to make a fire for yourself though, so you couldn't cook them. I'd take back a lighter. Ah, uh, okay. Or, uh, yeah, and when that runs out, what do you do? Well, am I coming back? That's when his vacation ends. <laughs> yeah, what a nice yeah. vacation. Do I get to come back? Are you just sending me back permanently? <laughs> I, I mean, how long would you want to stay? Because I guarantee you anything long. No, I don't bullshit. Stay long. You would not want to stay a day. You'd be miserable after an hour. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I agree. Kaya, Charlie, I'm, I'm interested in what you think. I, I feel like after an hour, Jackson would be begging to come back if he went to the dinosaur period. No, I'd be too, I'd be too stuck. Uh, Jackson, too here's what I'd you're going to do. Stubborn. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to Africa or South America or somewhere that is... It's Pangea. It's all together Listen, at that point. I'm saying today, you're going to do this in modern day. You're going to go to Africa or South America, somewhere with lush, Why? thick jungles. And you're going to bring whatever equipment you want and hire whatever guides you want. And you're going to realize, holy fuck, it's hot and miserable and, civil and fucking non-civilization sucks ass. Yeah, but I'm not going back to just survive. I'm going back to see the dinosaurs. You, I can't go so to So how long and see would you want to stay? How long are you going to look at dinosaurs? I just said a day. That's bullshit. I want to see You're going to hate dinosaurs. it. Are you really going to want to stay back there for 12 hours of daylight in the hot, miserable, terrible, completely uncivilized conditions? No way. Yeah. All right. 12 hours then. Fine. No way. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> no way. You, what is acceptable to you? What, you, 20 minutes? You would last at most a couple hours and then go, fuck, I hate this so much, I hope I don't die. No, I would be just completely enveloped in amazement. <laughs> what if you never find a dinosaur? <laughs> There's not even guarantees you'll find them. Exactly, that's why I'm going to need a day. I'm going to need to really <laughs> look around. <laughs> go on an okay. expedition. <laughs> a safari. I, I feel, feel like they're going to find you and so eat you. So you, you'd seriously never go back in any time period just because you'll miss out on video games for six hours? No, because everyone romanticizes the past. The past fucking sucked. No matter what era you looked at, it was terrible. Ev hey, you're like, romanticizing no what, this time. Like, you're saying that in literally any year before 2019 was terrible because people couldn't bing bing wahoo on their switches on a plane. Every, <laughs> that's not true. Every single year, <laughs> bing, every bing, single year before this one up? was worse than 2019. I firmly believe that. Yes. The, we have not, not only terrible, gotten It wasn't the end of the world to be born in the 19th. Well, of course not. Someplace. Like like 20 to like 2008 wasn't that bad comparatively. <laughs> but I'm saying I don't want to go back to 1920 because everyone's like, oh, the roaring 20s. That'd be fun. No. Enjoy your polio, you fucking moron. Oh, dude, did you know that this healthcare isn't finalized? So if you have this disease, you're just dead? Oh, that's you great. You polio in the six hours you spend in the 1920s? Even spending six hours then. It's like people didn't live the uproarious, amazingly romanticized lives that people think they did. Maybe some yeah, small celebrities. but they live a different life. Different, different is enough to be interesting, and that's why people want to go back even if only for six hours is to see how people lived firsthand or see how the dinosaurs lived in my situation. <laughs> <laughs> what, kind, what kind of shit they get up to? Yeah, but Jackson, think about it. When you watch a nature documentary, say Planet Earth, they set up cameras in housings for like months just to get 30 seconds of footage. Think about how hard it's going to be for you to find dinosaurs living in their natural no habitat. No way, back dinosaurs then. are big. Yeah, but there's no guarantee they'll do anything interesting. They might just walk around all day. It, oh, what? Oh okay, God, I'm I mean, interested no. in their walk cycle or whatever. It's I'm not interested like, in like what they look like. Okay, you just, just you lost that presence. argument, Andrew. Like you're gonna look at a dinosaur, and if it's not doing somersaults, you're gonna be like, "Oh, that's boring. It's just a dino." <laughs> uh, when was the last time you went to the zoo? What was the last time what? you went to the zoo? When's They're the last fun. time they You're had dinos animals. in zoos? A, a dinosaur what? is going to be interesting for like 15 minutes and then you're going to go, all right. What? What? No. I don't know. I think it'd be boring. This thing that no one has ever seen. Do you, what kind of privileged life do you live <laughs> where you, this thing has never been seen by anyone and you get born within 10 minutes? So let me get this straight. <laughs> Being able to play Nintendo Switch, amazing. A life dinosaur, boring. Meh, what's it gonna <laughs> do? I want my money back. I mean, okay, fine. Yeah, no, that is a better point. You're right on that. 
seeing seeing the dinosaur in that perspective yes that is great okay there we go but what i'm saying is the people who are like okay let, let me expand my argument then the people who say things like i'd love to live in the 1950s or stay well, yeah. there for like a week or whatever it no it fucking sucked it, it's way worse than people remember it's romanticized entirely that's that's what i'm talking about but yes moments like that well, where it's yeah. like yeah you get to witness a dinosaur and all that shit fine that is that is cool yes yes i don't want to start a society with the dinosaurs that live with them it sounds like to... you do though <laughs> well a little bit <laughs> it be cool sounds like you, you want to make jurassic them. park yeah oh tame them yeah like extreme dinosaurs show them technology show them your iphone and shit see if you can just get something rolling that would be cool i would i would work extra extra hard to like save them from extinction and, and <laughs> change the future of our species. What, like, what are you gonna do one punch man the meteor how are you gonna stop them from extinction <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be difficult <laughs> We build a deflection shield or something like a a Dyson sphere to envelop the globe. I don't know, but um, yeah, like bring them into the twenty first century. Oh great! <laughs> right. I feel like now we need to make you sign liability insurance or something. You're gonna be coming back from your time travel vacation with dinosaurs. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Like, like you're fucking, you, you live in Australia, the back in time. fuck country that doesn't even let you import apples. I'll go and you're back in time. Bring back a Stegosaurus. I'll go back in time, and then as soon as I leave, dinosaurs will start phasing into your reality <laughs> as I save them in the past. Jackson, you don't, you don't even want to draw. travel back in time. You you just want dinosaurs to be real today. That's all you want. Well, no shit. Yeah. No shit. That's, why, that's my whole point of why I want to go back. It's because that's when the dinosaurs were alive. <laughs> You just want to change world events. If I didn't have to go back, then I wouldn't go back. Uh, uh, so when you go back in time, who's going to cook fresh home-cooked meals for you, though? Oh, I hope Blue Apron can send their meals back in time. That's right. Probably Blue Apron can. is now offering time-temporal delivery service, no matter what decade you're <laughs> listening to this in. <laughs> but oh, realistically, sweet. when was the last time you made a dinner that you were proud of? Because making meals with Blue Apron is science meeting art. And it's creating something that's both delicious and harmonious. Blue Apron offers flexible menu options with an ever-changing mix of meat, fish, plant-forward, and vegetarian recipes. Blue Apron helps me disconnect from my phone, discover my inner chef, sit down and go, Hey, cooking's kind of fun. If you are lazy, like the four of us, but you want to eat delicious home-cooked meals, Blue Apron will make this happen. Their menu is carefully designed by their test kitchen chefs, and use unique specialty ingredients to bring chef-quality recipes to your dinner table. Blue Apron believes cooking matters. Don't have it delivered, pre-cooked, picked up, or any of that lame stuff. Cook it yourself! Once a week, once a month, or however often you want to do it. Check out this week's menu and get $60 off when you visit blueapron.com official. That's blueapron.com official. Blue Apron. Just cook. Nice. The end. We love Blue Apron. We do. I wonder what dinosaurs taste like. Probably, probably, oh, well, hmm. Probably like crocodile, I would imagine. What yeah. do you think? Which what? basically tastes like chicken. I've had crocodile. Yeah. Or no, wait, I've had alligator. Probably Charlie chicken. Alligator Don't they say too, that chickens are sure. related to dinos or something? That would be so goddamn boring if they tasted like chicken. Yeah. Ugh. What a letdown. It probably tastes like reptile meat, like turtle or alligator. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, alligator's not that uncommon in Florida. Like, it's, it's you know, you're not going to find it at every restaurant, but if you go to, like, the Everglades restaurants near there, they'll definitely serve it. A lot of places serve, well, not a lot, but a lot of the rural, rural places over here serve crocodile. Really? We have, like, giant crocodile farms where crocodiles are raised in... <laughs> And like, uh, well, farmed to be killed for meat. I went to one. It was really depressing. Like, it's it's just a pit full of baby crocodiles that are grown and then killed. That's depressing. Kind of made me sad. Yeah. Um. So uh, what I was just going to ask is how far would you guys go to be put into the history books? Like, if you went back, how far would you go to make sure that you're known about in the future? Like, would you fuck a dinosaur? Am I guaranteed? 
like it, it, no matter where I go, am I going to be in the history books or I, what do you mean? Well, if you do something outrageous, that's what I want to know. Like, what's what's <laughs> the outrageous thing that you want to be known for? Yeah, but if, no if you fuck a dino and there's things. no one to hear it, did you really fuck the dino? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just forgot the dinosaurs don't have a history. Well, yeah, Jackson, that's a that's a weird question. There's no dinosaur history. No books. one's gonna remember you as the first man to fuck a dinosaur because we don't really have historical records from back then. Oh, you'd have to scribble on cave walls for future generations to find <laughs> you a way. Yourself fucking the dinosaur <laughs> yeah. on the cave wall. Jackson was here. <laughs> Swag. <laughs> Who the fuck's Jackson? <laughs> he brings back a hentai artist with him to draw a really detailed picture of him fucking the dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> the only people that get remembered throughout history are like the leaders and shit. Alexander yeah. the Great's Genghis Khan's. Mm. I don't well, think any of us can really get to that level. He kind of made sure by yeah, raping I mean, that's, thousands that's and thing. thousands of women, spreading his seed into everyone on half the planet. See, that's the thing, Jackson. Today we have such better historical documentation than back then. You're actually much more likely to be remembered today than if you were existing back then. I mean, name name five people that existed from Genghis Khan's era besides Genghis Khan. Uh, exactly. Yeah. But you could probably name five celebrities from the from. 1950s very easily. Yeah, because we live closer yeah. to it, that's uh, not a fair comparison. Well, no, okay, let's do a better comparison. You could probably name five Egyptian pharaohs because they took better historical records. Jesus, what the fuck? I can't. <laughs> I, I, can I'm saying one? it's I more... Name one. I meant in Not general, it's more likely head. that you know the names of pharaohs than you do the names of Genghis Khan's lieutenants or even or people in his village, yeah. yeah I guess. That's all I don't I'm know. Saying. Hell, name the Egyptian gods, then name the religion that, of Genghis Khan. Yeah, but they're always in every uh, cartoon rape. and movie, that's why. Like, Genghis Khan's rapes never really made them. the cartoons. Yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> to watch even so we much something like... yu gi -Oh. <laughs> Yeah, right, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't show Genghis Khan coming into every woman he could get his hands on. It just, it's not kid-friendly, whereas Ra, the sun god, you can appropriate that for any cartoon you want. It's much more family-friendly. I summon family the friendly. Mongolian rapist! <laughs> It's just Genghis Khan raping everybody. <laughs> I've never seen that trap card before. <laughs> now, Kaiba, I'm going to send you to Genghis Khan's realm, and he's just mercilessly raped on screen. <laughs> the blue eyed white dragon is just raped. I mean, to the death. holograms feel so real. <laughs> what a great, what a great show. <laughs> uh, oh man, that, I don't, I, I don't. I don't know why that reminded me of this, maybe because it's like a not safe for work version of Yu-Gi-Oh being talked about. But I used to think back in back when I was eight, there was like a schoolyard rumor that there was a like a, a version of The Simpsons that they would air after dark, like after 10 p.m. or whatever, only for adults. <laughs> where They would just all be fucking and stuff. And I was trying to get my hands on that for years until I found out that it was fake. But then obviously Rule 34 came around. So yeah, it was... When I was That's a fine. kid, there was a, uh, I don't know if I'd call it viral, but there was a video being passed around and it was like, oh God, what the fuck was it called? It was called like Sim Naughty Simpsons or something. And it was this really Ooh. crude pre big internet rule 34 video of Homer fucking Marge. And I saw it when I was a little kid and I thought it was a real episode. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. <laughs> when did this air? Verdict's done it again. <laughs> this is a great episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it used voice clips from the show so it was when homer was like eating a big sandwich and he's just going mm, oh baby but it's just, it's from <laughs> his fucking voice clip when he's eating lunch but he's fucking large <laughs> i love that kind of shit do you do you guys remember the internet era i was thinking about this recently where humor was like the most compressed low resolution clips of movies in the world like you could count the individual pixels and people would just dub that over or put text on it and use clips from it. I, I miss that shit sometimes. It's still living that out. Yeah, yeah, but it's now it, but it was very popular. But no, back then it was so much more like low quality. Like, OK, so today, if you're going to make a meme, a video meme of Thanos, you literally take like a clip from Infinity War 
and you play it in all its HD glory, and then you like have text tracking his face. It's like you show Thanos doing the snap, yeah. and it's like, uh huh, that's that's Trump, and like you put Trump's hair, and it follows his head, and it's in perfect HD, and you have a little text and this and that. Back. We're at the point where the movie studio themselves will release the scene in 4K so people can meme it like Marvel did with the Infinity Wars. Exactly. Pre, uh, sequel. Exactly. Whereas at the yeah, end, but then people just deep fry the meme anyway. No, but 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 back then you would do like let's say a joke about Seinfeld, and literally the joke is you would have the most low resolution, shitty hiss audio sounding clip of Seinfeld quotes from the show. The whole, remember soundboards? That's what I'm talking about. Where it was like the whole hey. entertainment was you would just click a button and it would play a clip from Seinfeld, and that's it. That's all it would do. That's a personal just... attack on Kaya. Goddamn. <laughs> No, I it's miss. different because Kai is irrelevant, but I'm talking about the whole game is that you would look up Seinfeld soundboard and just click buttons and the amusement would be, oh, he said the Seinfeld quote. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I miss smaller downloads in general and everything. Remember those good old days where you could just put a CD into your console and immediately play a game or your computer for that matter, instead of having to sit there waiting for something to install or if you wanted to watch an episode of a show... It would be like a 200 megabyte download at most, and that would be high quality. Now 200, you wouldn't even spit on it. You wouldn't even download a trailer at 200 megabytes. You need that shit in 4K. There's a 5.1 surround. Than 200 megabytes. Yeah. yeah. There's a give and take to that though, Kaya, and I'd rather have this system now because if your game ships with a game breaking bug, you can fix it over the internet, and I'd much rather have that. Yeah, but I mean, back then. Plus, I don't like. I don't like collecting like discs. Yeah, if you if you bought a defective game back then, that's it. You had to buy a new Wait, copy what? or get a new. Jackson, you have an entire the... Blu-ray no, collection. I no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you fucking you asshole! You showed me a picture of your Blu-ray collection. <laughs> no, I just I no discs, just in case. Oh, Blu-rays. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, Blu-rays aren't. I mean CDs, Charlie. <laughs> but even there, it. Uh, it like, doesn't it bother you guys as well when you go on Steam or the PlayStation Download Network, whatever? And it used to be 10 years ago, you could download a game for like 500 megabytes, and now it's 500 gigabytes, and you have to just wait there for it to finish. Yeah, but that's just... You sound like that's a just ga- yeah, this is the that's, okay boomer That's just memes. games getting bigger. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2 has way more content than like Super Mario Brothers. And it looks so much better. I, I want to live in this world. Yeah, I, I don't get I don't agree with that argument. I think that's just a sad consequence of games. It's not an argument. Bigger. I just said I miss quick and easy downloads. I didn't say the pro- end product was oh, superior. See. I'm just saying it was so nice to just yeah. shoot up LimeWire, download Eminem's latest song within three seconds. Oh, oh that was, those were the days. Not that I've ever done that. Searched. And then no matter no matter, six uh, viruses yeah, no matter what Eminem. you searched on LimeWire, it didn't matter what you were looking for. Say you search like Eminem lose yourself, the first three results would be Eminem lose yourself, hot girl, fingers or wet pussy, real hard. Every oh, single time. I you never remember those? any of those. No. Oh shit, those were the first like auto-generated virus results where no matter what you were searching for, it would be like Eminem lose yourself and then just a bunch of string of random bullshit. Yeah, but you yeah, check out. He's got noob to get I've those. I've never once seen a pussy, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you say otherwise. That's making my soundboard. <laughs> we should have one. Uh, the good old days. Release it like release an official podcast soundboard in old school Adobe Flash format on a shitty website. Oh fuck oh. yeah, that's so old school because Flash is being deprecated next year. Yeah, rest and going away. Who's been using it? I, mean, yeah, I feel yeah, like 20, it's been deprecated no, 20, 10 years ago. No, no, no. Officially, it's no longer going uh, to be supported at all in 2020. They're just going to stop letting you even run it. Which sucks, but... Yeah, no, it what doesn't. Flash, Flash sucked. For us? Oh, Flash yeah. was the fucking greatest. What are you talking about? Oh, God, Flash no, was no. amazing back in the day. Oh, what, you loved seeing that little uh, jigsaw icon telling you to go to the Adobe website to download Shockwave Flash Player? Nah, I'm, I'm good with HTML5. I'm happy with what we got now. It just well, works. Well, of course. No, of, of course it's better back, na- back uh, now. Of course it is better. Back now. <laughs> All the time travel got you yeah. messed up. <laughs> well, you're, you're doing the thing that people were... <laughs> You, you, you're doing the thing that you were arguing against people doing before, re- like living 
No. Uh, romanticizing the past. That's or different. Whatever. Flash in its day was good. Like, it, in its day, oh, yeah. it created a lot of good things. For example, the Cartoon Network games on their website would not exist if it weren't for Flash. But traveling by car across America was good back in the day, but you don't want to No, it that. wasn't. That, that's only improved. It was good back then. That's only improved. It's not like it ceased to exist. No, but Andrew's Flash, every, that every, Flash, let me put it, well, here's, here's my doing point. Flash's job have improved. Here's my point then. on the past. Everything you could do in the 50s, you can do today and better. We can do Flash now, but better. Right, but the games aren't going to convert. They they have to be in Flash. What? You know what I'm saying? It, it, I mean, well, you, you think you can convert them? Yeah, they're trying, but not all of it's going to work. But it could in 10 like, years, okay. maybe. Okay, let me, let me put it this way. I'm not saying games were better back then. They weren't. Flash is a worse platform. I'm saying I like them back then. But people who say, like, things were better in the 50s, no, they weren't. They were not better back then. Everything you could do yeah. back then is better now. That's that's the difference. Agreed. I'm not saying Flash is better than what we had. Not at all. Not even close. It was buggy and laggy and shit. But I enjoyed it. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's the difference. What I'm saying is don't let Flash die because there's a lot of old school games that I still occasionally like to check in on and play. <laughs> They're still fun. I say let it die just so Andrew has to live <laughs> in the past. <laughs> You have to always look back. You can never really Spin up a virtual machine. Like, what if old laptops become uh, like collector's items, like artifacts? Oh, th this thing still has Windows ninety eight with Flash installed on it. Holy shit! It's on eBay for thirty five thousand dollars. I'm gonna get this. It has all the Newgrounds porn games on it. Oh, those are all gonna go away, aren't they? Yep, all the old Flash porn, all the old everything. I mean, that's the main reason I feel bad. I was on Newgrounds for a <laughs> vast majority of my childhood, <laughs> and that website is having a real crisis right now. It's not going to go away. You can Trying still find, find some to... download, some place to install any version of any software. It's just not going to be supported. It's not going to work, though. It's not going to be supported in browsers. Firefox, Chrome are not going to run Flash. What are you doing? You can download the game or something. No, you can still download an older version of Firefox or Chrome. Uh, I, I maybe, I guess. It doesn't really it matters. It's a hassle though. Well, yeah, I mean, it's up to how much you want to masturbate to My Little Pony Flash games. Really. Exactly, that's what it boils down to. <laughs> hey man, hey man, Kangaroo Girl is where it's at. Let me tell you, that was the shit. Kangaroo Girl? What the fuck is that? What? Oh, yeah, oh, Kangaroo Girl. Oh, that, that, I've I've sparked some nostalgia for some people in the audience. Don't worry. You've sparked confusion from us, though, Andrew. So it was a very yeah. big, Enlightened very us. big hentai game back in the day on Newgrounds. What's it called? Gan Ganguru Gan Girl. Or Gangoro. Goro. Or Girl. One of those two. G-A-N-G-U-R-O Girl. Okay. Mm, can't see anything. I'll, I'll look it up later. I'll do my research. Yeah. See, the chat knows what I'm talking about. That was that was a big one. Also, a hentai girl. Same artist. Another big one. I played all the hentai games back then. Did you jerk off to the hentai games? No. But I, I had a routine well, I... where I would come home from school, I'd do my homework, and then I'd start playing hentai <laughs> games till my parents got home from work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like that's, that's, probably, that's probably why I'm fascinated with, like, Rule 34 games now and do all that shit with it, because as a kid, I, was, I spent my whole life on Newgrounds, and they had such a big fucking hentai game section. I would just play everything that was new. It's the best. So you've... Has anyone... I don't, has this question been asked? Have you guys jerked off to hentai? It's been I mean, asked, and the answer has been no from everyone except Andrew, I think. Yeah, I've done it okay. before on occasion, but now it's just... Meh. I don't know. You had too much pussy now, Andrew. It's, it, well, it's hard, it's hard to compete measure. with real life, because with real life, you just get the whole... Or real life or yeah, like... you can smell it. Well, no, real life... It, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> yeah. I, I need my hentai to have scratch and sniff. <laughs> uh, no. no, it's... I mean, it's hard to compete with, like, with fucking in real life and porn that's based on real life because it's the whole package. Whereas hentai is like, pretend this picture's moving. No, Do but it. That, that, isn't that the whole point with the hentai that they can go surreal with, like, car-sized tits where milk and shit comes out of the nipples which are shaped like dicks isn't that the point of it <laughs> yeah so the the problem is that a a lot of hentai is actually pretty plain 
Like, it, you'd be surprised the amount of hentai where it's just man fucks woman. Hooray. And, and a lot of it is bad. Like, it's shit art. But even then, I mean, are you attracted to the insane stuff? It's interesting and fun to read, but, like, it doesn't turn me on. I'm not going to see a woman with, like, nipples the size of a car and go, yeah, that's so hot. Well, not you, but I'm Turns saying someone on that's, that's, what, the point. Yeah. that's probably what the fetishists look for. Oh, yeah. If you have a fetish, hentai is sometimes the only way you can get at it. For sure. Oh. Then it's time I can't... you change your fetish. <laughs> you can't change your fetishes, Charlie. Yes, you can. No, you Charlie did. Imagine living a life with... Wait, what? Yeah, he did, remember? What did I... Change what? what? Charlie it's used to be... be... Charlie used to be exclusively into lesbians, and now he, he's branched out to the whole world of porn. No, he when likes that happen? gays. <laughs> he's still looking up <laughs> lesbian porn. He's still living yeah, in that world. browsing I know, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where that grand statement came from. Charlie was unaware of that change in paradigm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hentai fills a good niche, but I, I, it's just hard to compete with look actual literal pussy instead of oh I drew it. Yeah, but is they lesbian porn just a thing? Go ahead. Well, wait. Is lesbian porn just a thing that you enjoy online, Charlie? Or would you like to get some action with some lesbians in real life? Like, would that fetish translate over I, from the internet? What kind of question is, is that, that even? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> so let me let me re ask Char let me ask re, re ask Jackson's question, Charlie. I know you like having sex with girls, but would you ever want to have sex with two girls? Yeah. <laughs> What lesbians do? <laughs> yes. Like what? they're fucking. How is this a question? More than they're fucking you. They're not going to be interested in you. You don't know that. <laughs> they're not. Even Why then. They, what? So, uh, like, would you be pissed off if your girlfriend was just making out with another chick in front of you? How are you even conflicted? The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> but who? Who? who I didn't know who you were asking. Oh, you well, directed it at you, well, Jackson. All of you, I guess. Oh, no, nah, I'd be fine eh. with it. Yeah, there you go. Easy. I don't know. I decide in the moment. Okay, she's <laughs> yeah, hot. It's based on how good. It is. <laughs> how hot's the other girl? <laughs> hot. <laughs> oh yeah. I would let my penis decide. I get to watch. <laughs> okay. That's all I request. We all get to watch Jackson's girlfriend kiss another girl. <laughs> I invite everyone to the, to the occasion. Yeah, I, I think I, I get if you want to veto that one. But I meant in a private session. Private for me? They're just kissing and I'm in the other room. <laughs> they're, making out, they're making out in the bedroom. Jackson, meanwhile, is in the living room going, I hope they're having fun. I sure wish I was in there. I just hope she remembers me. <laughs> uh, do we have any last minute housekeeping before we wrap? Because I want to go to bed. Yeah, what are we doing for 156? Is that are we doing three that? years? Yeah, yeah, that's three years. Are we doing that milk, um, the smoothie challenge or whatever we came up with? Uh, uh, the what? Hmm? Why don't we just do it with video, since we've been talking about branching out and doing it with video instead of only audio? We can do our celebration. Yeah, we can do that, but I'm not going to let you weasel your way out of eating something disgusting. Oh. oh. Well, we'll discuss it in private. And you'll <laughs> no. see next week, I guess. <laughs> um, any... I don't know. I don't want to sit here for 20 minutes brainstorming. I, I want to go to bed, so... Uh, any Andrew has Pokemon. Uh, All right, is let's it good? Wrap. Is it bad? <laughs> no, I, I I actually really want to know. Is it is it as good? Is it as bad as I've heard? Like so from from the, the answer outrage? to that question is it's Pokemon. If if you've okay. played the most recent Pokemon games, it is the exact same shit on the Switch, which in my opinion is bad because they they just don't get any better. They made very yeah. small, very, very small improvements comparatively. So, well, that's a shame. Yeah, it's I can't oh, well. say it's a bad game because it's not, but it's a very, very disappointing game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on that note, we leave you. Thank you for watching this week's episode of the official podcast. We've got a Patreon bonus up right now. 
over at patreon.com slash the official podcast. We talk about if we're boomers or not in that one. The the answers may shock you. <laughs> Will they? Uh, say goodbye, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, really? Will they? Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>